this next song, um, I want to say this next song, <laughs> I don't quite know exactly when the sequence um, of the whole journey this song is going to be yet. And actually the sequence of the songs, I think at this point, um, will really depend on also what's happening at any particular gig or event or concert or a performance. Um, this is just something that a lot of musicians say. It's just like how they perform and, and how things turn out has a lot to do with the energy in the room. So at this point where I actually perform the songs just by myself, I have the freedom to just actually go with the flow because there aren't any other musicians I have to be concerned about who um, might get confused if suddenly I change the sequence and the order. And, and, and because this whole sequence of songs really is is about the inner journey. It's just wonderful to be able to mix things up a little bit. There will be some of the songs that are um, just actually for the audience to listen to. There will be some songs where uh, people will feel inspired to actually uh, sing along or chant along, you know, with some of the mantras, for example. And uh, most likely what's going to happen, maybe even already this, this uh, next performance, there may be actually a handout uh, with the verses and they might be just passed around or there might be a, a booklet, you know, that everybody gets at the beginning. I'm a little concerned about doing that because I don't want people to sit there while I play and to kind of read and flip through that. It's just really annoying. I find last night we were actually at a wonderful concert, a Van Man concert at the Chan Center. And, you know, there are these wonderful voices, you know, people are singing. And there's just people around here and they just flip through the program and they read. And it's like for somebody who's really... Um, is there to enjoy the music that can be quite annoying so i really don't want that to happen at these concerts so i'm kind of undecided this piece i just want to give you a little intro to it and it's really kind of interesting how this came about for me interesting because i have been playing with these chords for about a couple of years and a couple of the the chords here were actually inspired by something that stephen stills wrote uh, a long while back and i was kind of practicing one of the songs and i I just love this particular chord and so I've been playing around with the chord sequence for about maybe two years, two, three years. And one day, I think this goes back to late 2011, early 2012, I was in Canmore um, at that time, just outside of Banff. And I picked up uh, another book uh, on sacred spiritual teachings and actually the, the book that I spoke about uh, before, the Dhammapada, I should also say the you know the Dhammapada I, I picked up. I was reading the Dhammapada. It contains uh, writings by by the Buddha, and um, and that's when I that was the first time that I actually heard music in my head. And I picked up the guitar and started to to write a song uh, to the to the words of the Buddha. The translation of that Dhammapada is by Eknat Ishvaran and. Uh, I picked up the, um, the the three books they translated, and they're actually available in a trilogy. Uh, the Dhammapada, the Bhagavad Gita, and the Upanishads. Beautiful translations by Ignat, Ignat Ishwaran. And so I was reading uh, his translation of the Upanishads, which are ancient East Indian uh, verses by, by sages, enlightened seers, who had discovered sort of, um, you know, how the divinity works, our relationship to the divinity and such. And I I opened the book and there were there was just one verse and I saw the verse and I thought I knew what to do and I put the verse and these chords together mm -hmm. and I had a song it might be my favorite song maybe not but it's just mm -hmm. up there like you know calling those terms kind of top 10 or something like that top three mm -hmm. the song is called destiny
your deep driving desire is. You are what your deep driving desire is. You are what your deep driving desire is. Your desire is, so is your will. As your desire is, so is your will. As your desire is, so is your will. The will, the will. I hope as your will is, so is your deed. As your will. I love playing the song. I can play it over and over and over and over again. And I, I think what actually makes the songs endearing for me personally as a performer to play them is that just the verses, the like like what I just sang to you is actually exactly the quote from the Upanishads. So I did not alter the words, it's the um, exact translation delivered by Agnat Ishwaran. And there's just so much meaning behind these words and I find just new words are transforming, particularly when they have a deep meaning. You are what your deep driving desire is. As your desire is, so is your will. As your will is, so is your deed. And as your deed is, so is your, so is your destiny. You know, desire equals destiny. And if you need to really express desire, we need to access our will. And we have to express them by taking action in the world. And that actually shapes our destiny step by step by step. And... Yeah, it's just a wonderful song to play, and I've started to play it on the piano too, and um, I'm not sure if uh, this next venue on March 17th actually has a piano too, but actually it's a very different experience playing these chords on the piano, and it's actually really, 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 really beautiful. And it's a big experience. A big, it's a big sound on piano, and it's a different experience between piano and, and guitar, but you know, as the music unfolds, and my vision includes at some point there will be some collaborations and we were at the Chan Center last night and I just actually see ourselves playing these songs there with some other wonderful musicians and at some point in the future. Right now we're going to be on commercial drive at a wonderful heating center, I think it's called Heart Heating Center or something like that. I actually I apologize for not knowing exactly what the place is called, but I will be there on the 17th and wherever you're catching this video, you know, you may want to consider, um, you know, coming, bringing a friend and just... Uh, Enjoy yourself on a journey of the heart and the soul. Thanks for listening.